What's going on, Aqua Force? Welcome back to the Watch Over Queen Gentleman. Yes, sir, we are back, man. Today is Saturday, man. I hope you guys are having an excellent weekend so far, man. All right? I'm not going to hold you. The weather out here in Miami right now is absolutely amazing. And I'm trying to relish it as much as I possibly can while it is still here. Because the unfortunate reality of Florida, well, I'm going to just speak for Miami because, you know, I don't really know about the rest of Florida. But I will say that in Miami, okay, you know, y'all know I'm a Cali Negro, right? So with that being said, I'm used to 80% of the year just being sunny, vibrant, nice, you know, all that. That's what I'm used to. I'm well, I was spoiled with that. I'm not even gonna hold you. Because out here, okay, during the summertime, it's always raining. And damn hurricanes and all this weirdo ass stuff, okay? Anywho, I'm trying to enjoy this weather. As much as I possibly can while I'm still here, because like I just said, during the summertime, it gets like that, okay? And on a Saturday like this, you know, during a week where McQueen just, you know, works so ever, ever, so, so ever hard, right? As I do all the way, every week. I kind of want some boppers. I kind of want some thoders, man. You know, kind of want me some nice little Latina women, you know, just to come to my crib. And I could just get sucked off, right? I think that'd be great. Am I going to really indulge in that? And am I going to go chase after it? No. Nah, I'm not going to do that. Why? Because at this point, it's just a waste of time. It really is, you know? I'm on, what, maybe my third week? Almost? Almost three weeks now of no fat. And, you know, it's really getting to the point where the urges are so strong, Okay. But it's also my ability to be able to wave them off is also stronger. Um, and, you know, I just want to, you know, on these days where I'm getting all this work done, the weekend is here, you know, this, this, woo, 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 right? It would just be nice when I want, when I go outside and I see this beautiful, vibrant, tropical weather. Got me a nice little, nice little big giddy, a big giddy, you know what I'm saying? Big culo, mucho culo, grande culo, Latino woman. It would just be nice. I'm just venting to y'all, all right? Can McQueen go out and get one? Yes. Will I? Probably not. I still think it's very important for you to interact and have a social life and this and that. You know, you just got to be, it's got to have a balance, okay? It's very important to be able to know how to talk to women just because in case you want one, just in case you see one, you know how to do it. And with that being said, I think that you should learn how to do it. Learn how to become confident. Learn how to get money. And learn how to get in shape by joining the Mega McQueen Academy. First link in the description. Click that. Go join, man. Here's screenshots of everybody who's making money in there right now, man. On top of it, I'm changing lives in there for the Aqua Force, man, all right? We got over 130 members in there right now, man, and it's really dope seeing everybody continuing to grow and progress in their life. This is male or female. I got women in there now going crazy. They making a bunch of money telling me, McQueen, oh my God, you're changing my life, and it really feels good. It makes me feel fulfilled to help you guys and give you guys the game on how to get this money, how to get these gains, and how to get this confidence, and how to get any woman you want. I saw that to say, make sure you guys join that. First link in the description is for a very affordable price and you will pay off what you spent to get inside the group and you will make that back literally the same exact day you join because all the money glitch that I'm teaching you guys how to use in there is going to give you guys and allow you guys to make a lot of money. So click that first link in the description. All right, the proof is right here in the pudding. I don't know what else to show you. If you are still choosing to not take advantage of this money glitch and still choosing to not take advantage of this game that I'm literally giving you for such a low price, that is on you. Okay, you and you came to blame nobody else for continuing to be broke but yourself. All right. So, with all that being said, man, we got Charleston White here, man, and Orlando Brown. Okay, they, I don't know why they got these two Negroes in the same room together. Okay, this, this was just a terrible idea. I don't know why, but at the same time, it was also a great idea for entertainment because you already know it's going to provide, or not provide, it's going to produce some of the craziest statements and arguments and so much more. All right. So, I'm sure that's exactly what happened, all right? And we're going to go ahead and watch exactly what was being said. Apparently, Charleston was talking to Orlando Brown about how he admitted that he got, you know, his cheeks clapped when he was younger by the whites, okay? So, let's go ahead and watch. Sitting back trying to see why he bringing this character here when it's players in this player environment. I want to ask you a second. No, 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 no. I'm trying to oh, see. Why can't oh, not big, doors uh, be closed when players is getting a haircut and you get beat uh, up? But, but, or I'm whatever saying, that nigga, was. Why, why is? Why, why, why? Yeah, saying, but why would you so, come so, in the barbershop uh, and uh, slap uh, you? Uh, so, so, uh, because I 
with killers. And that was the kill. I don't like that. Yeah. Nigga, that ain't, I'm out on bond for that. I took care of that, so you ain't got that. Well, no, and I hate that shit. Call what? Bitch ass nigga trying to hit you with that bullshit. Nobody hey, called him. We don't want to talk about I'm that. Hey, listen. He said he walked for you. He said he would have ran down on the floor. Oh, nigga, you, 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 you didn't admit it. You didn't admit it to being fucked in the ass by a Hollywood executive. You wouldn't fight nobody. You didn't, you didn't admit it to being fucked in the ass by a Hollywood executive. You wouldn't fight nobody. You didn't fight them niggas out your ass. No. Uh, <laughs> Listen to me, I'm sorry, look Someone getting essayed when they were a child is not funny It's not, okay Orlando Brown had no control over that It's not, it's not funny Okay, I do not wish that on my worst enemy Alright uh, Technically Orlando Brown, if what he's saying is true Which I have no qualms of believing then it's it's kind of out of his control. He was a child, okay? He was brought into the entertainment industry. He was brought into Hollywood at a very young age. And it was unfortunately forced upon him, okay? So it's kind of hard to fight Negroes out your ass in that situation. But, you know, we already know what kind of person Charleston White is, is, is when he gets into these arguments, okay? He will go low. He will go low, and he has no problem going low, all right? Uh, clearly, he was upset because Atlanta Brown man, brought up the you know, situation where he was in the barber chair and, you know, he got slapped and this, this, whoop, whoop. Charleston said he had, you know what I'm saying, he messed with K-I-L-L-E-R-S. Okay? He he messed with, he, he messes with those guys, right? And he got it taken care of and then he said he's out on bond because of that right now. Okay? So, um, I, I, I just genuinely think that this was a bad time for Orlando Brown to bring that up. That was the worst person to bring that up too. Especially when you know you got situations like that that have happened to you, okay? I don't think you can really win most Rose Battles if all of those things have happened to you. Because, you know, when people feel attacked, they will go very low, all right? Uh, with all the things that Orlando Brown has admitted to, I just don't think that he is the right person to be trying to get into a Rose Battle with somebody. I, I, if I had all the things that would that happen to me that Orlando, or at least if I had already admitted to the public and everyone knows these things... Um, I would never roast. I would never get into a roast battle with anybody. Okay, you should probably just stay to yourself, okay, protect your peace. Okay, um, unless you're just willing to, you know, deal with whatever comes with a roast battle. Okay, uh, but it looks like Orlando got extremely quiet when Charleston brought that up. It was just like, you know, it would look like one of those. It looked like he was just damn, damn. He went there, damn. He went there. But, I mean, it's also kind of like, you should expect that, Orlando, okay? But we already know Orlando's a crackhead at this point. So, you know, I don't think he's thinking about those things very clearly, all right? Hey, listen. He said he would walk for you. He said he would have ran down on the floor. Nigga, you, 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 you didn't admit it. You didn't admit it to being f***ed in the ass by a Hollywood executive. You wouldn't fight nobody. You didn't, you didn't admit it to being f***ed in the ass by a Hollywood executive. You wouldn't fight nobody. You didn't fight them out your ass. No, you didn't fight them out your ass in Hollywood. Yes, Tough ass n when they were trying to fuck you, did you fight? Damn. 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 Okay? Damn. That's all I gotta say. It's damn. Alright? I don't, you know, at this point, we already know that Charleston White does not give a damn about going there. He doesn't care about your feeling, your feelings or your opinions or the public opinion about what he says or what he does. Okay? And you know that's a he's you know that's his prerogative. He is entitled to however he feels like he wants to move in this world. However, I'm a strong believer in the universe, and I'm a strong believer that whatever you put out is what you get back. Okay, um, and uh, jokes are one thing, right? But for sit to sit there and bring that up, uh, you know, you got to be willing to be able to take whatever karma comes back to you. Okay, uh, however. Okay, you could also say the same for Orlando, uh, but you know it is what it is, man. Honestly, I'm not. I'm I'm neutral in this situation. All right, uh, it's funny because it just seems like something straight out of a Boondocks episode to have these two in the same room and even have this conversation. I mean, this is just a conversation. That, this is a reaction and something that I would see and I would expect to buy that would come out of having these two people, these two Negroes, in the same room. Okay, 
I'm surprised it didn't get worse. All right? Unless it did. Y'all let me know, man. Send me my reactions, okay, on my Instagram, link in the description, in my DMs, all right? <clears throat> and I'll react to them, all right? But y'all, for this particular video, let me know what you guys think about this particular situation. Do you think Charleston White is wrong for bringing this up, okay? Do you think that, uh, you know, he's he might be, he may be, you think, do you think he actually has a point? I don't think he has a point. I think he kind of, you know, took it like it's not kind of, he took it very, very low because he was upset that Orlando Brown brought it up that he got slapped while he was getting his hair cut, okay? Y'all let me know what you guys think. Do you think Orlando should not have ever brought that up? Let me know all his opinions in the comment section. Make sure you guys like and make sure you guys subscribe. And I will see you guys next video.